Will the market go up or down? Should you lock in or float? Find out this and more with Master of the Markets, hosted by Barry Habib of MBS Highway. Welcome to another edition of Master of the Markets. I'm Barry Habib at MBS Highway, is created exclusively for NMP TV, and it's brought to you by our friends at PRMG who are working for your best interest. So last week was an interesting week, although it was relatively calm with the amount of news reports, we did get some things that kind of made you go, hmm. First of all was the CPI report, the Consumer Price Index. This measures inflation, shows inflation was cooling down. Now, people got excited about that, but here's the thing. When you look at year-over-year -year levels of inflation, and it did drop from a little over 4% down to 4%, when we see, see this drop, we have to remember that it compares the current month to where we were a year ago. And the comparisons from a year ago were against some pretty high levels or high jumps that we had seen at this time last year in inflation. So the numbers were against some pretty strong comparisons. When you look ahead, the future numbers will be against really low inflation reports that came out when we start to look at the months of August, September, uh, October, November of last year. So as we start to get these reports that will come in, you should see inflation. If we get a little bit of inflation, those inflation numbers will move higher and the bond market may not love that. Now, we also got some information on the amount, the in, the forbearance numbers. And, you know, at the peak, there was over 5 million homes in forbearance, or loans, I should say, in forbearance, down to 1.5 million. And of those who exited, you know, there was quite a few ways that it exited gently that we hadn't seen. 23% of people are making their payments. People are getting uh, refinances and paying them off. People are, are selling their homes. So not a lot of turbulence. They're just less than 1% of those had distress situations where it could be a foreclosure or where it could be a short sale or something like that. So very, very few. So of the 1.5 million remaining, if we do get numbers that say, hey, we're going to see some issues where homes come on the market, it'll be a drop of water in the in the desert or on the beach because we need inventory badly. We certainly don't want to see people go through foreclosure, but people have made a big deal of forbearance. And as we've been telling you forever, it's not going to cause a problem. It should unwind gently. And we continue to see numbers that show that that will happen. The housing market's going to stay strong. Hey, you know, Zillow said that they forecast appreciation over the next 12 months to be up 12%. And speaking of housing, we're going to get a lot of housing data this week. We're going to get on new construction. We're going to get on existing homes. We're going to see a lot of data this week. So we'll be on guard for that. We'll be reporting that to you every day in MBS Highway so that you'll be on top of it, able to dissect it, combat the negativity in the media and help your customers understand the opportunity. We're also going to have a Fed meeting this week, and that's going to be very important to see if we get clues on tapering. If you're not a member of MBS Highway, you're crazy. Uh, you, you really need to protect yourself, protect your business, grow your business, and really make a difference for your customers. We help you do that every day. Hope you guys have a great week. Bye-bye. Be sure to click on the link below for your free 30-day MBS Highway trial.